Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Uh, hope everyone's hanging in there, having fun in their house. Um, I knew that we would be out of school for a little bit, but I didn't think it was going to be this long. So hopefully uh, we're able to get back in at some point this year. I miss everyone. I hope everyone's um, you know, working hard during the week and uh, doing your work. And if you have any questions, make sure you're messaging me on Schoology or you are emailing me because um, I want to get back to you. I want to talk to you guys, help you out as much as I can. And uh, even if you just want to say hi, just do that. Um, today, I'm going to kind of walk you, walk you through a little bit of uh, the, le the math lesson for today, Alberto's fish tank. Um, so if you want to kind of follow along with me, pause the video. I'm just going to kind of read through the questions and give you a little hint and, and tips that, uh, that, that I kind of saw when I, when I went over it and, and, I've, and I finished it last night. Uh, so it's about Albert's fish tank. He's, he got a fish, kit, fish tank kit for his birthday. The kit comes with a 15-gallon tank, uh, bags of gravel, and water cleaning drops. It says use the information to solve all the questions. So the first one, 1A. One uh, number one, you're given a chart. It talks about the gravel and the different colors and how much weight uh, of each color that he's actually putting into the tank. So he's putting 7 and 1 fourth black, 5 and 7 eighths gray, 4 and a half uh, pounds of white, and 3 and 1 eighth. Uh, pounds of yellow. So first question says how many pounds of gravel does gravel does Alberto put in the tank? So the first one you got to think about you're putting all of it into the tank So what operation are you need to be or you need to do there? So you need to make sure that you are finding the common denominator first for four eight and two uh, Find the equivalent fractions and to figure out the total weight in all so that's for part a so you need to use that information for part A for the last part of part B. It says each color of gravel comes in an eight one-half pound bags. So each color. So think about how many color bags he puts into the tank. It says how many pounds of gravel should Alberto have left after putting in all of the colored gravel? So for that one, you have to find out how much gravel he actually buys. So it's eight one-half pound bags, and there's four bags of gravel. So you're figuring out how many pounds he has in all. So you're doing that, figuring that out. Make sure when you are doing that, you need to turn it into, and both of them, into improper fractions. And you can multiply across. See if you could simplify maybe before you multiply to help the math get it a little bit, uh, a little bit easier. Um... Then once you get that total, you should come up with a whole number. Then it says how many pounds does he have left after he pours in the seven and one fourth, the five and seven eighths, the four and a half, the three and one eighth pounds that he puts into the tank, and how many he's gonna have left over. So for that one, you need to you need to subtract. Make sure when you are doing that, you need to if you need to regroup. Remember when we're borrowing, we're taking one whole away. And then we're making it into a fraction that we can use to subtract the other fraction. So that's 1A and B. Number two, once the gravel is in place, Alberto puts 15 gallons of water in his tank. It says during the first week, 3 40ths of the water in the tank evaporates. How much water is left in the first tank? So first we're figuring out how much is evaporating. He had 15 gallons and 3 40ths of the 15 gallons evaporate. So you're figuring out how, figuring out how much is evaporating. So you need to do a little multiplying there. So once you do that, you should multiply. Uh, when you have a whole number, make sure you remember what to do so you can multiply across. Uh, see if you could simplify before you multiply uh, to, to help you out a little bit. Once you multiply, you should get an improper fraction. Then you need to turn that uh, fraction greater than 1 into a mixed number. And that's how much evaporates. But then it says how much was left in the tank. So if there's originally 15 and there was an amount that evaporated, how much was left in the tank, then you need to do another operation to figure out part A. Uh, part B is a little bit different than we kind of talked about yet. We haven't really gotten there yet this this year, but we're, when we get back, we're gonna we're gonna do this. Uh, it says Alberto adds enough water to bring the tank back to 15, so he's back to 15 gallons. 
Uh, he adds water cleaning drops to the 15 gallons of water in the tank. The directions say to use one drop for each one fourth gallon of water. So there's he's adding drops. So for each one drop for each one fourth gallon of water. So you have to think, okay, well, how many drops is he going to use for one whole gallon? If he there's if one drop is one fourth gallon. So one over four, how many drops is he going to use for one whole gallon? Once you figure that out, then you need to say, okay, well, if that's one gallon, how many is he going to have in 15 gallons? So then you're going to have to do, so one-fourth, how many one-fourths are in one hole? Then you need to take that and figure out for 15 what you need to do. Then you get in that number, it should be a whole number, and it says after putting in two-thirds of the total drops needed, so he's putting in two-thirds of the total drops needed, so you need to take that, you need to do a little multiplication with, the, with how many drops you put in there. Two-thirds of the total drops needed, he puts in, he has to stop and answer the phone, so then he kind of forgets where he was, so then he needs to do a little math. How many more drops does Alberto still need to add to the water? So you have to figure out, okay, well, he needed how many drops for the whole thing. Then he does two-thirds of it, so he does most of it, right, more than half. How many more does he need to do the total amount of drops? So you need to figure that out, too. Um, I'm going to stop the video here just so it doesn't get too long, and then we'll go over the next half.